Today we're going to design and build an 18 and a half inch round tray that's going to be one and three quarter inches thick. We're gluing up uh, four pieces of wood to make our 18 inch slab and then we're going to take it to the CNC and we're going to fly cut both sides so that we have a perfectly flat piece of wood to start with. We're going to hollow out the center of this tray to a depth of one inch. We're going to bevel the inside edge of the tray to a 45 degree angle and then we're going to v-carve some names and artwork in the middle of the tray and at that point then we'll cut the tray out and then we'll flip it over and then we're going to put our logo on the back of the tray with the laser that is attached to the CNC. So let's get this whole thing started and please like and subscribe if you find the video helpful and thanks in advance. Okay, this will be the section where we learn how to draw, design uh, the serving tray. And this is what it's going to end up looking like. But I'm going to take you step by step through the whole process. And we'll literally go through and put this together from scratch. So I'm going to go out of here, close this. We're going to go create new. And the four boards that I had uh, glued up were 19 and an eighth by 21 and an eighth inches. And they're 1.75 inch thick. And the material surface, we're going to zero off the top. And the datum is in the center. So with all that, let's get going. First thing we do, we've got to draw the outer circle of the tray. And the tray is going to be 18 and a half inches. So we come over here to the center and we draw a circle. There's 18.5 right there. And we close. And now we're going to draw the inner circle, which happens to be 15.26. And this was all done by trial and error when I was doing it. So 15.26, and I can come over here and just do 15.26, and we have that. Say so apply, close, and so now we're ready. Oh, we need one more. We need to put a square around the whole uh, drawing, and the reason we're doing this, I'm going to fly cut it. So, oops. Uh, what did that do? Oh, that had, okay, let's cancel that, close. We'll delete that one. That had rounded corners, so if I come in here to the square, I gotta make sure it's gonna be square. Okay, now I can draw it. And we'll come around here, go past the edges, so it'll cut the whole thing, and you don't wanna leave a little corner up there. So we'll close that. So now we got these three lines will give us what we need to get started. So we're going to come over here and then the first thing we're going to do is uh, flatten our piece of wood that we have down. So we're going to come over here to uh, the pocket tool path. Uh, we want to go just uh, one point, uh, point oh five. And that'd be five one hundredths of an inch because uh, it's pretty flat and we want to use our RC 2263 uh, spoil board cutter this is from a mana it has three wings with the uh, carbide inserts and it, it cuts two and a three quarter inch path so it makes pretty short work of doing that and then we want to also make sure we have it's a plunge rate. I'm using three and that seems to work. Uh, when I first did it, and you'll see when you see the video of the actual uh, cutting on the CNC, I bogged it down because I didn't do a plunge thing and it needs that to get the path going where it has to go and then it works quite smoothly. So let's calculate our first path and then we're going to preview that real quick. As you can see, two and three quarter inch 
that's a pretty good sized board and it just cleans that thing off in no time and uh, I want to rename this right here and we'll just uh, rename that uh, spoil board I know it ain't a spoil board but that's what I call it just to have it clear so we got that done uh, let's go over here to where we can see the other one. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, cut the hollow spot out of the center. And once again, we're going to come over here and we're going to go up to the uh, pocket toolpath again because we want to cut inside. We're going to use the same spoil board cutter. This time we're going down up here under cutting depths to one inch and uh, it shows four passes which is what we would probably want to do if we were doing that four or five even uh, just to make this go by quicker I'm just gonna say two uh, only because I when I do the thing I don't want to drag the video out so I'll say two but it's it's gonna be four and then we got our plunge rate again we calculate and we're gonna change the name to hollow out center it helps if you name these because then you know what you got when you're looking at them in the screen okay so we got that we're going to preview that toolpath like I said it's going to do I think I showed three paths there we go and if we tilt that you can see it's got this flat side which wouldn't be very attractive so now we're going to go on the same toolpath and now we're going to take and do a profile but we're going to do it with a v-carve bit uh, we want to go down one inch the bit we're going to use we got to select it and we're going to use a v-carve bit and i've got this one right here and we're going to select it we're going to change the passes on that the once again we would use four if we're milling it but just for a, the demo I'm going to show it too that way you're not watching a lot of stuff going slow and that should do it uh, several tabs ramp uh, ramp on lead in add ramps to toolpath a distance three inches okay we're going to calculate oh wait 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 i do not want to ramp on that let me back that up uh two passes we're gonna we do not want to ramp we don't need a ramp to v-carve that okay got that and that calculate and i should have i'm going to change the name of that rename bevel b-e-v-e-l inside And then we're going to go up here and we'll preview that. Okay. Well, see, that, that's why we go by this picture. Now, that didn't look right at all. And I know exactly why, because I was on the outside of the line. I want to be on the line. So I'm going to reset the preview. Well, calculate it first. Okay. So now we're going to reset the preview, and we'll uh, preview all. And anytime you're doing a job in Vetric and it doesn't look right in your uh, drawing here, in all likelihood there's probably something wrong because this is very accurate and it gives you a very good representation of what you're going to get and if you see something that looks hokey in there you better find out what it is see now now we're on the line and it, it come out perfect okay now when I say it came out perfect we did get this little bit of an edge which I'm going to show you when we uh, go into the actual milling that was uh, if I had a larger 90 degree V bit that would have been flush all the way up but it, 
it you know exceeded its limit there on the side but it actually turned out I sanded it a little bit and it made this little tiny lip and it actually looked pretty good in the bowl but it, it didn't belong there but it's there okay so we got the middle hogged out we got the bowl and so now we got to go back and look at our drawing and we need to let's see we got that and we got that so now we have to do our lettering so let's go back over and get our lettering all in there so we're going to come over here and i'm going to select this and the text i'm using this um, morosa which i seem to like for a lot of the uh, kind of fancier stuff uh, and I want a capital S and I want this to be three and a half inches high 3.5 so I put that in there and that's it close and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna move it up here off to the side and I'm gonna move it right there on that line gonna come back over here to the text again and I'm going to do a C, capital C, same three and a half, close. I'm going to bring that one over here. And then I'm going to do a third, which is going to be the and sign. And I'm going to make that, yeah, yeah, I'll leave that the same. And I'm going to put that one right in the center. Okay, so I'm going to move this one over. I'm going to nudge it over just a hair. That's too much of a hair. Okay, so we got those three there. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, select them and I'm going to group them so we got that then uh, what we're going to have we, we're going to have their names around here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a circle and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that circle I'm going to make that about 15 Point two six and apply. Oop, I don't want that. Okay, that was wrong. That should have been oh twelve point five. Okay, delete that one. Okay, I'm gonna make a circle. Twelve point five. And I'll show you what we're going to do with this circle. We're going to need this. We're going to come in here. We're going to hit the N key on the keyboard. That brings up node mode. And what I want to do is I want to cut this vector there. And I want to cut it about there. And I got this side highlighted, so I'm going to delete that because this is all I want. Okay, so now we're going to go back into the text. And the text, uh, now we want to be 0.9 high for the lettering. And I want to type in S-T-E-V-E, -E, Steve, and C-A-R-R-I-E, Steve and Carrie, close. And I'm going to select this other line. And then I'm going to come over here and select this. And I want it on, let's see, it's going to be below the line. And why does that, okay, I, got, I know there's a way to flip it. Text on the other side. No, well, that sort of works but I need it up and over here. Okay, so 
I wanted it on that line. There we go. Now we got it right where we want it. Because I got above the line and we had it flipped. So we can close that. And now we can get rid of this line here. Or just this line. Oop. Okay. So now we got the initials and that. And now I want to put a couple decorative pieces here and here and around the outer edge. So I want the outer edge, I want those lines to match up with my letters here, like in the middle. So I'm going to make another circle for my guide. I'll get that. See, that's right about the center of that. And that's going to be, that should be just about right there. And what I'm going to do is make a line. Let's see here. We're going to hit N. I'm going to take this one here and put in a new point. N. I'm going to add a new point right here. No, I'm cutting the vector. Yeah, that's right. I'm cutting the vector there and here. And here's the part I don't need. It's already highlighted. See, I could go over here. That's that side. And this is this side. I delete that. So I've got this line. And then I want another line that is going to be like in this inner circle. And that's going to be, let's do something about 11 and a half. Take another circle. Okay, we have that one. Okay, so we got that one there. And I need a smaller one in here, okay. That's going to be about... It's a little spastic. Okay, so on this one, I'm going to break this one. Let's select it. Let's hit N. What am I doing there? Oh, I'm still okay. I didn't close that out. Close, delete, select this one. There we go. Now I'm going to go to nodes. I'm going to end this one. I'm going to cut it here. Okay, come on. There we go. I'm going to cut vector. And right here, I'm going to cut vector. And then right about here, I'm going to cut the vector. right about here I'm going to cut the vector okay so like this section I want I'm going to delete it and then this section I'm deleting that so that leaves me with this line this line and this line now I don't want these lines to be just straight lines I want to have them like have a point coming around so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my uh, draw a curve line. I'm going to click right here on this point and I'm going to click right here on this point. I'm going to hit escape and then I'm going to hit node. So we got these two things right here, these two nodes. What I want to do is select those two. Ooh, I did not want to move that. Okay, I'm, okay. 
if I select those two nodes, now what I want to do is go straight up. And then I'm going to bring this down. And I'm going to bring this one down. Probably should have brought those down together. Let's get this by itself. Okay, that side's looking okay. That side's looking okay. Okay, so you see what we got. We got a point and then back to a point. I'm going to take this whole thing here. Whoop. Still a note, okay. I'm going to take this and I'm going to shrink that down just a tad it's a little too big for my liking okay i didn't want to move it there there we go Okay, and then we're going to go back to this. I'm going to do the node editing again. Uh, no, not there. I'm going to come over here to my line. I'm going to click there. Click there. Hit Escape. Go to node editing by hitting N. Boy, that is sensitive. There we go. And now I got both of those selected. I can select both of these. And we're going to bring them down at about the same pace. And boom, we got another line. So now we have our whole drawing done. So now we just go on, we got to go on over and we'll do our cutting. So we, we have already did the first three. Uh, let's. So now we gotta, we're gonna have to go in there and we're gonna do these. Oh, and there's gonna be one other thing we gotta do. Let me go back. Uh, if these right now are individual lines and you can't V-carve, they gotta be together. So I can select these. I'm gonna see, uh, I gotta select these two. I'm gonna hit join and that'll give us one closed. Pick these two, join. That'll give us one closed and pick these two and join. And we got one closed. Let's see. Did that work? Yeah. Yeah, one, uh, one closed. Okay. Now we can go do it. So now we go over and we're going to V carve that. So we'll select those two and this one. And we're going to go up here. We're going to V carve. The letters uh, start depth is going to be one inch because remember we're down here on the bottom and it's going to be uh, I'm just going to have a 15th deep uh, 1500s we're using a 90 degree V bit and that should do it so we're going to calculate and we'll preview that and then there's our nice lines with the sharp edges and now we're going to select our lettering and we're going to come over here and V carve that and calculate and preview. Okay, so we got all our text and everything. All we got to do now is go in there and cut it out. So now we're going to come over here to our outer edge and we're going to close this. We're going to come up to uh, profile cut. We're going to go 1.76 because we're going all the way through. Uh, we're going to use a uh, end mill. I'm going to use a 3 8 end mill. Uh, 3 8 end mill. Select, 
We got that. I'm going to just change that to two passes just for uh, make it look quicker. And we want to be on the line. We're on the line. And we do want to do tabs. So we're going to do our tabs. And we want to do, uh, let's do six. And we got six tabs going. Close. And calculate. Yep, it's going to cut through. So now we're going to preview it. And there we go. We got our tabs. And we're ready to uh, do the backside. And we'll do that. And uh, I'll just, I'm just going to show you that when we actually do it on the CNC. I won't show you the, going through the process here. And that will be it. Now we'll go on to uh, the CNC and cut it out. And if you do find this to be helpful and you're enjoying the video, please subscribe and hit the like button because it does help. Thanks.
do an 18 and a half circle. Okay. So we've got all this outer edge or I you know drew the circle. So we can actually screw this down and then we'll just put tabs on it. That way it ain't going nowhere. surface the bottom so that it's perfectly flat and then we'll flip it over and do the rest of our CNC. -ing. So I have a laser attached to my CNC for lining up the center and it comes in real handy when you got a big bit like this because there's unless you put on a V bit you're not going to get that exact corner or that point. So I'm going to come over here and I'll get this adjusted right in the center. And now we're right in the center. And in my uh, Mach 3, I've got a, a button that I programmed that it'll do the offset. So here's where the laser is coming down. Of course, here's where the center is. But when I press the button, it's going to bring that over dead center. So now I know I've got my X and my Y perfectly zeroed. And for this large bit, I am going to have to use a piece of paper to uh, zero it out, being that it won't fit into that. So we're just going to bring this down until we get pretty close. Then I'll bring it down in the littler steps. Then I'll start bringing it down in hundreds. Now I'm going to do it in thousands. zero there. Alrighty, so now we've got the thing all zeroed out. And we should be ready to start. Put it back. And here we go.
Okay, what we're about to see is what happens if you don't do a lead-in. And I had to stop it. And you're going to see that it wasn't able to continue. The lead-in eliminates that little piece in the middle of it's causing it to jam up. So if you do a lead-in, then that completely goes away and you don't have the problem. So on the next video, you'll see we added the lead-in and we're all fine. Okay, so this time I added in the ramping and we're going to see if that works. If not, we'll have to use a different bit. Okay, we're all set. Turn on the back.
sure that this works. So here we go.
everything card and now we're going to try to bring it to life with some mineral oil and that'll get all the grain and everything hopefully popping out nicely and then once we do that we'll get that dried off and then we'll put some lacquer on it By the way, this is just regular old mineral oil, Walmart, like a dollar and a quarter or something like that. So you don't have to go spend eight dollars at a paint place for mineral oil. Same thing. Okay, we're going to let that soak in, and then we'll be back.